All right, Raymond, Biden led a uh, Thanksgiving Day tradition, that White House turkey pardon, even if he managed to kind of yes. botch it. This is the 76th anniversary of this event. And I want you to know I wasn't there in the first one. <laughs> I was too young to make it up. <laughs> <laughs> now, Laura, he's wrong on both counts here. He's 81, which is more than 76. But the turkey pardon, as anybody who read my book, The Magnificent Mischief of Tad Lincoln, knows, that was instituted in 1863 by Tad and Abraham Lincoln. By the way, Laura, I just interviewed the two turkeys Biden pardoned today for Fox and Friends. The full interview is coming Thanksgiving morning. But here's a little exclusive Ingram Engel preview. What are you most concerned the president might ask you? Well, he's showing us now how to exit. This is good. What are you most concerned about the president requesting of you? Come on. He's not going to ask you to pardon him. He's not up for anything. He's fine. The nice thing is you're going to end up in a nice farm and not on a table. This is a good thing for you. Laura, we bring you up close and personal to the newsmakers. I mean, we really, really? try to strain to do that. Well, now, the, I, these are the, of course, the I'm very... thinking that beautiful bed, that beautiful bed at the <laughs> Willard Hotel is with that turkey. Yeah. That, those are beautiful sheets and beautiful linen. I mean, what happened with those? That's what I'm thinking about. Well, they have... They have pads on that bed for obvious reasons. I have to say, they were a little smelly, uh, but this, this tradition, it's actually a beautiful White House tradition and a monument to Abraham and Tad Lincoln and the, the idea of mercy and forgiveness that Lincoln extended to so many after the Civil War to bring the country together. But uh, I don't know. I think it's lost on the president. He did manage to pardon these turkeys, Liberty and Bell, but you'll have to pardon his setup. Listen. Now, just to get here, Liberty and Bell had to beat some tough odds in competition. They had to work hard to show patience and be willing to travel over a thousand miles. You could say even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance tour or 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 the Britney's tour. She's down in it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. <laughs> Laura, he meant Taylor Swift. What? Britney Spears hasn't even performed in years. But another singer, Cardi B, is sounding off on Biden, and she's not pardoning him. There's a $120 million budget cut in New York that is going to affect schools, public libraries, and um, the police department. And a $5 million budget cut in sanitation. We're going to be drowning Rats. Yeah, Joe Biden is talking about like, yeah, we could fund two wars and like we're the greatest nation. No, we're not. We're going through some right now. We're gonna be drowning in rats, rats and squirrels and raccoons. <laughs> Laura, it, it's kind of funny listening to her. Oh, what God. she's talking about is the migrant crisis in New York City. Cardi B, by the way, like so many others, uh, The Rock and, and so many other celebrities, they supported Biden in 2020. Now they have buyer's remorse. She apparently doesn't like it like that. Well, <laughs> Raymond, Raymond, first of all, I love the fact that she's going totally cash. I like the fact that she's very comfortable with her audience. So she's with her bathrobe and, you know, I'm not sure if, is that a shower cap? I don't know what that, but I like that. I mean, she's just really natural. She's not all glammed up. She's just like, I'm the end of the she's day and I'm going to speak my mind. Yeah. This went end on of the for day 30 minutes, and I'm going to speak rant. my mind. 30 yeah. minutes? Well, you know, yes, 30 minutes. I think, look, People are clearly being affected by this, and not just the working class or the middle class. These are people on the upper echelons of entertainment and society, and they're feeling it. These are people who supported Joe Biden. So what you're seeing here is far beyond politics. The cultural power of Cardi B, The Rock, and others, Kevin Hart, calling out the president in specific ways, this may have political consequences no one yeah. sees right now. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you this. I think that Cardi B needs to go to Chicago in the south side of Chicago. She needs yeah. to go to in, in L.A. She needs to she needs to go yeah. all these places and she needs to preach the gospel about what's really happened to the country. Mm. So not just on Instagram. Well, she or, did it. She needs to preach the gospel well, to to urban America and do do it. More. She's using her platform. All right, Ray, you're all over yeah. the holiday. 
I know your Christmas Merry and Bright album is a number one jazz release on Amazon. Wow, congratulations. Yes. Where are you yes. going on the road? Thank you. I am going starting this weekend, Laura, in Phoenix on November 25th. I'm going to be there. Then Dallas with Jose Feliciano, Tampa, Cleveland with Frankie Avalon. Finally, Raymond at the Ryman Auditorium Woo! in Nashville on December 25th. Go for the first. Go to RaymondArroyoChristmas.com for tickets. Cannot wait to see you all in the road. I have a lot you, of friends Laura. who are going to the Nashville event in Ryman. Raymond, thanks. Jess hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.